Weeks after Prime Minister Narendra Modi had accused Manmohan Singh of having said that Muslims have the first right to wealth, the former Prime Minister in a veiled reference to the speech said that he had never distinguished one community from another. So what was the statement made by Prime Minister Modi and what did Manmohan Singh's statement said? Let's find out. Prime Minister Modi had targeted former Prime Minister over this statement. I said minorities, particularly the Muslim minorities, if they are poor, they have prior claims on the resources of the rich. I used the word all for all minorities and I added from there, particularly Muslim minorities, if they are poor, they have a prior right on the resources of the country. I stand by that. In an election speech, Prime Minister Modi had said, Pahle jam unki sarkar di unhoan ka aata ki desh ki sampatti par pahla adhikar now, Manmohan Singh, in his letter addressed to the people of the country ahead of Lok Sabha elections, phase 7, has said, and I quote, I have been watching the political discussion very carefully during this election campaign. Modi ji has engaged in vile hate speeches which are downright divisive. Modi ji is the first Prime Minister who has reduced the dignity of office and with it, the seriousness of the Prime Minister's office. No previous Prime Minister used such vile, unparliamentary and low-level language to target a particular section or opposition. They have also given some wrong statements. I have never in my life distinguished one community from another. This is the special right and habit of BJP. Then, appealing for peace and harmony, the former Prime Minister added, and I quote, I appeal to every voter of Punjab to vote for development and coordinated progress. I urge all young people to vote carefully and to vote for the future. Future. Only Congress can guarantee a development-led progressive future where democracy and the constitution will be protected. In the letter released on Thursday, the former Prime Minister went on to hit out at the BJP over the country's economy. He said, and I quote, In the last 10 years, the country's economy has seen tremendous upheaval. Spooge of demonetization, mismanaged GST and poor management during the COVID-19 pandemic have created dire conditions. Below average 6 to 7% GDP growth has become normal. Annual GDP growth under the BJP government has dropped to less than 6%, while it was around 8% during the Congress UPA. He added, and I quote, While the Congress UPA, despite the challenges, continue to increase the purchasing power of our people, the mismanagement of the BJP government has reduced household savings to a historic low of 47 years. For more updates on Lok Sabha elections 2024 and news across the globe, keep watching the Indian Express.